Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting this loose cherry blossom branch and some butterflies. I will put the link to my new Amazon store with all of the supplies I used in this video in the description box below, so be sure to check those out if you're interested. I'm using a size 16 round brush because I want to keep these flowers really loose. I'm painting these four petal blossoms and some little buds in kind of a diagonal line down my paper. I'm leaving some gaps where the butterflies will go in a minute. Now I'm going to connect everything by painting the branch. I got a little too much green right here in these flowers, so I'm just drying out my brush to pick up the excess paint. Now I'm adding in some leaves, varying the green as I work my way up and back down the branch. I do that by adding just a little bit of blue or a little bit of yellow to the current color I have. I'm not filling in everything right now because I know I want to add in a few little butterflies, so I'll come back and finish this off once I get the butterflies in place. Now I've switched to my size 4 round brush to paint my butterflies. I'm just getting the basic shape in for the wings and I'll refine their shape when I get the finishing details in later. I just want to get them in place so I know where to put other details. I'm still using the size 4 round brush and I'm going to go in and darken some of the leaves by going right over the top of them. They were completely dry so that's why they didn't bleed at all when I painted over them.
I'm also darkening some of these flowers by painting along the outside and then I'm filling it in with just some plain water and letting the paint bleed into it. Now I've let my entire painting dry. I'm going in and adding details to my butterflies using a size zero round brush and ivory black paint. To get the very thin lines, I'm holding the brush up and down and using very little pressure. I'll add just a few more details to my flowers and then it'll be finished. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I post a new watercolor flower tutorial every week. If you found this helpful at all, I would be so thankful if you shared this video with a friend. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye!